Hello again, everyone on the internet. I am back again with another video. I know it's been a while since I've... Well, I've uploaded the last parts of my um, Bang Dream. And that was back in, like, May or something. I think April. And um, it's been a while since I last recorded. Well, I did record some Shadowverse, but I might not release it. Uh, so... I'm here for another video, and this time we will be doing set 2 of Hololive. So, I have three boxes here. I actually bought an entire case. So, I'm thinking what I'll do is I'll just open three for now, and then save the rest for later. Uh, I'm kind of really pressed for time, uh, but I'm really excited to see what we pull. Especially in terms of, like, SP and whatever and such. Um, this is one of the bigger sets compared to the other ones. There's 145 um, cards. So, like, you'll definitely be able to... So, usually, like, normal sets have roughly, like, 100 cards. Usually 100 cards. So, what happens is... If you buy a case <clears throat> of it, you'll usually be able to get one playset, which is, like, you'll be able to get two playsets. You're more than likely to get two playsets, which is, um, four copies of the same card is one playset. So if you get two of them, that means you get, like, at least eight of them. Uh, but since this is a bigger set... You may only be able to get one playset, and if you're really unlucky for some reason, I guess you wouldn't even be able to get an entire playset. <clears throat> but first box, uh, the toppers are the climaxes, uh, the promos. Uh, so this is the Sun Shining. I believe it's a new uh, Subaru Level One combo. I think I'm not too sure, but yeah, really excited to be opening these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. As per usual, I think, as per usual, uh, why don't we start on the left side? So, let me just get these over here. And it's our standard nine cards per pack. Um. So, let's just really quickly go through these. Red, red, a lot of red, blue, green uncommon. Uh-oh. Let me see if I could just readjust it a little. There we go. Red. So, some of you may or may not know, Rare Bolt. Um, I did used to play a bit of Hollow Life. Um, I did, um, let's see what deck was it. I did a 5th gen deck, um, cause back when I did the first set, I didn't, like, have everything. I bought basically two of each trial deck, basically two of each trial deck. And then... Um, I got some boosters, mainly four, four on pre-order, and SR Luna. That might be good in my, uh, funny Gen 4 deck. Uh, but, as I was saying, um, what was I saying? Uh, I, I bought, like, two of each trial deck, and then, um, I got four boosters. So... Based off of what I pulled, uh, I was like, okay, I managed to get a um, playset of the level 4, uh, level 3 combo for Gen 5, which was the Nene combo, the standby. And it's like, okay, I'm going to build that since I have that, since I pulled it. Um, and it didn't really work out. Um, it didn't really work out, so I decided to play something else. And what I played was, um, the Gen 4 deck. Oh, Maureen. <laughs> Look at that. 
I'll give you guys a more detailed look of it. Wow, look at it. All right. Um, so I played Gen 4. Um, that was actually my um, regional deck uh, last year, back in 2022. I think it was. Um, it didn't really work out. So you say combo. I think um, this one... Uh, the Climax combo um, combos off of the same Climax for the level 3 as well, and there's a way to bring it out. Um, not going to be the most informative. I do like the Mel. Um, as I was saying... Um, what was I saying? I played the Gen 4 deck. Um, it was... The level 1 combo was Luna. The trial deck Luna, where, um, and then, um, the level 3 combo was, um, what was it? Uh, level 3 combo was, why am I drawing a blank? It's not that hard. The level 3 combo, got a Pecora. Um, was Toa. Yeah, that's right, Toa. Um, it's the combo where it's a gold bar, and, um, you have to, on attack, pay to ditch the Gen 4 event, and it burns your opponent twice. So, basically, it's like a weaker version of the Gen 2 event, a uh, Gen 4 event, but it's more, like, precise burn. So, you're not like, over sh overshooting damage. Um, so I played that for a while, so I'm definitely interested in seeing some Gen 4 cards. I think there was a Watame that lets you... Nope, not that one. Uh, but there's a Watame that lets you discard her as... Um, it goes with the Gen 4 event where you would be able to discard the Watame and have it count as two discards for um, the um, Gen 4 event. So usually Gen 4 event requires you to discard... Um, it costs four, and you need to discard two characters. The Wat uh, Three characters, I'm sorry. Um, the Watame counts as two discards, so you just need to discard another character. <laughs> All right. Kanata, Toa, Green, Green, <sighs> Watson, Red. This is interesting, the Aqua. Um, so from what I've heard, the Aqua, um, Toa, and I think it's what you say? Um, have like a gimmick ability. Um... Because they all play Apex together or something? I don't know. I don't know the lore. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> oh, SR. Um, Koyori. Uh, I really wish I prepared sleeves, but I didn't. Another Koyori. Okay. And uh, Shirakami's secret base. Um, I'm definitely really interested in the new Climax combos and the newer gen uh, that are in here because, you know, um, base um, or first edition Hololive had only your JP and then they had the premium boosters which had E-N-N-I-D, I believe. Okay, um... Which is, like, cool, but since they were premium boosters, they didn't actually have, like, Climax combos. So it's like, okay, here's a bunch of, like, utility cards. And then now, f w with set 2, um, they actually have Climax combos. And, I'm and I really like that everyone, I think everyone, um, gets a Climax combo. I think that is very cool. And like legacy support.
and stuff. Yeah, I'm definitely really interested in the legacy support. And even, like, a lot of people, like, a lot of the guys at the locals would say, if you don't have any of the old stuff, chances are you could just... And you, like, bought into um, set 2. Uh, the deck that you probably want to go for is... Any variation of um, Hollow X, I believe, or EN, I can't remember. <laughs> Very informative. Um, I think the Gura combo is definitely like one of the things that people are saying is like really good. Maybe the Laplex as well, I wouldn't know. This is funny. This was on, this was banned on release date because of a combo, unintentional combo, um, like that was that people discovered and abused the crap out of. Uh, long story short, what happens is you're able to get off six attacks. So it's like. You have your board, you go into your attack phase, you attack with those, and then you do some sort of combo with the IMAs, because they have an ability when it comes from hand or deck, you could summon another copy. So you basically summon one copy and then you replace all the others, and you get an, a three extra set of attacks. Double R. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Blue. Um, I think for the packs, there's like the ratio that you're trying to like go for is like five double R's. And then... Maybe three foils? I'm not too sure. SR. Yeah, so three foils, I think. Because we pulled this SR, we pulled another one, and we also pulled another SR. Uh, Toa. Red. Green. Whoops. Let me just look real quickly. Um, yeah, it was the Luna... There was the Bolton, and there was the Koyori. Yeah, so three foils. And interestingly enough, any card that appears as an SR also has the possibility of appearing as an SSP, I believe. Um, so this is one of those sets where there's SP and then there's like SSP. Unless if I'm just super misinformed and... They've made that change a long time ago. In which case, I'll be super misinformed. Green. I am a... And then double climax. Um. Alright, that was the first box. Uh, let's go into the second and third box. Alright, second box. I think this is a Bay Climax. Where did the first one go? Oh, it was right here. Um, sure, let's just put them up top. All right. Start on the left side. Let's speed run this. Now that I have... Now that everything I want to say has been said, I can speed run this. Red. Blue. Blue. Green. Yellow. Yellow. Green. Uh, this is red. Green. And, well... You know, I don't really have that much from the older sets, but Nene! This will be good. Oh, I think this, um... Changes into the level 3, um, Climax combo. Um, so you stand by it out at level 1, and then you could, like, change into your level 3 combo, which is really powerful. The level 3 combo also has, um, damage scry if you fulfill the, 
um, memory requirement of, I think it's like three different cards. Or cards with different names in memory. So damage scry is like you take damage and then you have the ability to top check and either, I believe it's either mill or leave it back on top. So if it's a, if it's a climax, you leave it on top. If it's not, you mill it, essentially. And the level 3 combo is, um, what was it again? Um, climax combo, I think it's on attack. On attack, mill the top card. If it's a level 1 or higher, burn your opponent for 3. Yeah. And I think it also has hand on core as well. So the only thing you'd have to worry about is... Early out killers that do more than just kill it. Um, Toa. I kind of wish there was like a climax combo that um, gave some sort of support for in the newer set. Is this red? This is red. Um, in the set 2 that supports the um, event combo. Uh, Kali. Hello. Glory. Stand by. Um, like support for it in the sense of how the Luna had, um, on reverse salvage either a character or the event. I was thinking maybe if they could, like, come out with a level 1 combo for that one. Because the Luna, the issue with that one is, um, you need to reverse your opponent and the Luna's power is base 5-5. Five, five. And it's also on a double soul or a stock soul um, climax com uh, clim climax jeez um, the climax that combos with it is on a stock soul so you don't even like get to give characters plus one thousand or anything like that so you're gonna have to rely on either power pumps or back row support. The Louis counter. I think this is a memory kick counter. No, this is an early out killer. So aside from paying its cost, you also have to pay two and sack one of your characters on the field to early out kill. Oh, this is a Bolton. Um, it's a one-one um backup with the. It's a 2k backup, you pay an extra stock, and you get to send this to memory. So it helps with the, um, gen, it helps with the gen 5 theme of having cards, or characters, well, cards, in your memory. To pull off certain effects. Like the level 3 climax combo from set 1. Haha. -ha. Red Toa, okay. Um, so, as I said, the previous um, level 3 Toa combo is um, on attack, pay to ditch the 4th, the fourth, gen 4th fourth event and burn your opponent twice. Uh, burn 2 twice. So this one, I believe it's on play heal 1, so the old Toa doesn't have on play heal, so this is already like a really good plus. Climax combo is pay one, ditch one, and you top check your opponent's deck, and you could put it at the top or bottom, and then you icy tail the bottom three, and it gets plus one thousand power. The bottom three icy tail instead of bur for burning for climaxes, it's any the number of cards that are level zero or lower. So it doesn't have to be climaxes; it could be characters or events. So. Yeah, and its cost isn't really that, it's definitely like an improvement. Of course, Icy Tail is like a gamble type of endgame, another Marine. Yeah, here you guys go. <laughs> um, 
it's like a gamble type of um, condition to burn your opponent. But it's definitely a lot like cost heavy compared to pay to ditch one specific card. Of course, to burn twice, burn two twice, is probably going to be like the saving grace of it, which in my opinion, it's really good because it's more precise. It's like your opponent's at 3-5. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna side attack and do the combo. If it hits, it hits. If it doesn't, ideally I have another attack. And I would side attack because I've come across situations where my opponent has rest counters. So yeah. Hello, SP, Aki Rose. Um, so this, that's interesting. I don't know how to feel about this. It definitely feels interesting. Um, geez, if I sleeve that, I'm going to have to sleeve everything. Hold on, I need to grab a sleeve. <sighs> okay, I got them sleeved up. Um, yeah. Really glad I'm getting a lot of Gen 4 and Gen 5 pulls. Also really glad that I think Gen 5 definitely got some really good support. Especially with the new um, level 1 combo. The Polka combo. Because um, the... First set, um, the level one combo was with the Bolton. If you if you play like standby, uh, cause it's the level three Nene is a standby. I was thinking, I'm definitely gonna try to play based off of that. Um, Subaru. Uh, I'll read this later, and you guys can read it later. Um, but like, um. What was the trial deck one? I can't remember what the trial deck one was. I don't even remember what character it was with. <laughs> um, but yeah. <laughs> um, the one that I played was Pants Standby. And it was pants with um, the Bolton. Like, the Bolton was definitely good. The only, like... Because it was, like, with the memory condition and the power, it gets up to, like, 8k during your turn. And it's on reverse, so you should be able to reverse any opponent unless if they are also playing standby. In which case, I'm sorry. But since it's pants, that's like one less like opportunity to stand by something out because four of your climaxes are non standby. The plus side of it was um, on reverse climax combo, you could search two, um, add one to your hand, and discard the other one. So you literally go through your deck. This is red. So you literally get deck speed and go through your deck, searching for your um, late game to add to your hand. So something that you might want to play the next turn or something. And since you're also, your second target is going to be discarded, you can literally discard your um, standby targets. Of course, the downside is it's pants and not standby. And it's not really relevant until, um, like, you need it or something. Yeah. Oh, yellow. Green. Okay, so that's that. I don't know if I'll have time to go to box three. Um, but 
we'll see. If not, I'll do it later. Uh, for now, I'll sort this out and see what I can build. Um, bye, guys. <laughs> All right, let's try to get another two boxes in. Uh, let's see. Definitely recording on a different day today, so do that. And get this open and over it with. Let's do that. Alright. Let's see what our climax is. Standby. Uh, I think this is the polka one. Yeah. Okay. We'll go with the tradition of going on the left side first, so... This one... Let's see... Blue... I believe green was over there. We'll just slide the playmat over a little... There we go. Okay. Blue... Green... Green... Red, green, blue, climax. Um, I don't think we got any shiny or foil. Hold on. Right. <laughs> Just checking what we pull, if we get anything exciting. I will be screaming and yelling, obviously. Uncommon. Um, I think we pulled the SP version of the Aki Rose. So definitely pulling more copies of it definitely feels good. Red. And it's a blue level one assist that gives level cross turn. Put that down here. Oh my gosh. I need to re-angle myself so I don't sit uncomfortably. And lead to more health problems, okay. Yellow. Wait, that's yellow. Red. Blue. Yellow. Alright, the OS key. We'll put it down here. And of course, I'll check abilities and everything during my free time. And of course, I'll build whatever deck I could come up with. Whether it be meta or non meta. Yellow. Oh, double R Lamy. Um, this is definitely good for the 5th gen um, memory mechanic. I think when it gets reversed. Um, or sent to the waiting room, actually. You could... Um, I think it's pay one and put it into memory. And look at top three and add a character. Um, I'm not too sure about that. We got a Louis rare... And then a late darkness um, climax. All right, Miko, Smelly Orca, <laughs> um, Kanata, uh, level one. Ideally, this would go well for a Gen Four deck. Oh, Climax Combo. Interesting. I'll read that later. Uh, Bay Climax Gold Bar. <sighs> Alright, we're almost there. Just a few packs left. Um, so, going off of the previous um, ratios that I pulled, there should be three foiled. Um, 
So the last two that we opened, there were three SSR in one box, and then the other box had um, an SP and two SSR. So yeah, more Toa Climaxes, that's good, I like those. Right. Not the most riveting of commentary, but we're here for the cards and excitement for when we pull some awesome content. Level 3 Luna. Um, yeah, so like all Luna cards, it becomes level 0 when you play out onto the board. And funnily enough, it has three soul. Yep. I'm most likely also going to be using that in my <laughs> Gen 4 deck. Maybe a Luna themed deck. I don't know. It's in the works. Alright. Green. Red. Red, red, aqua, green, red, <laughs> um, Bolton, um, Subaru. Okay, um, now we're moving on to, oh shoot, sleeves. Um, I'll use the sleeves I have with the Gen 4 deck out here. Alright, here we go. Starting off on the right side, first pack. So, one really like, oh, uh, one really like epic cool thing, um, Double R Comet. So, it'll be a Climax combo for the level 3 and level 1, and level 0, so we say. Um, one really, like, cool or, like, awesome moment. Oh, I should probably, I should probably sleeve this. Um, that happened at my locals, um, on how live release day. Um, was, there was a box left over as, like, entry prizes. And one of the guys at the locals... Managed to pull an SSP. I think it was a. Uh, I think the character was Rene. Um, I'm not too sure, but yeah, it was an SSP. And um, uh, yeah. So something fell. Um, I checked on it. Nothing broke. Um, because it had already broken beforehand, so it didn't break any further. All right. Blue. Blue. Yellow, yellow, blue, blue. Oh, I kind of like this artwork for it. Uh, wait, that's green. It looks really cool, honestly. Double climax. Yikes. Red, red. Let me just... And then readjust my seating yet again. Green, red. So, so far only one foil, and that was a climax. A uh, double rare. Goes here. Yellow. 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 Gold bar. So, there should be two more in this box. Let's make sure but yeah um as i was saying um the guy at the locals managed to pull an ssp and i'm really sad that that guy wasn't me true story by the way i mean if it's not you it's someone else oh Chloe, let's smell what it smells like. 
Oh, smells really shiny. Okay. Alrighty. Do that. Bolt on. Right. Lammy. I think I also like really, really like this design as well. Maybe I'll play it. Since it's a climax combo. Pants climax. So, one more foil. Right. Flare. Spadu. Um, Mio. Orca. Yellow. Yellow. Maybe it was this SP or SSP that they pulled. I can't remember. Kind of wish I had it so I could show you guys, but whatever. Just readjust these. Come on. I wonder what the S SSP that we pull is going to be. Um, Because I think in the case it should have... Um, what was what was it like five or six SPs and then one SSP? Something like that. Blue yellow door to go with my Chloe Climax combo. Alright, last pack luck. Let's see what we get. Kanata, Karne, Toa, Soda, Oh, we get an Aqua. Neat. Come on. There we go. Yeah, three foils. I mean, it's kind of cool to have a Climax, like, double, triple R. If you, like, you know, play that combo, at least. Mm -hmm. Down here. And then... Alright, let's move on to the next box. Let's... Let me check how I'm doing on time. All right, let's see what we get. Okay, red door climax. Stick with the tradition of doing the left side first. So let's go ahead and do that. Speed running. Toa, Sora, um... Polka, Choco Sensei, um, Matsuri, <laughs> Sora, Ayame, and Akai Hato. Right, next one. The non foil of the Aqua, um, Akiros. Iris, uh, banned card on release day two. Yeah. Lucky Rose, and then, um... hmm. No, um, the first pack was the Akai Hato, so yeah. Alrighty, um, hmm. Let's see. So, now that I have um, a lot more Hollow Live with set two, obviously. Um, I think this is our second Toa, so we're getting there. We're getting there. Um, let's see. Rene. Um, uh, now that I have more Hollow Live, I'm thinking I would probably be pay playing Hollow Live a lot more. Especially since there are so many generations. I'd probably be able to build a lot of decks, see which one I like most, 
play that a lot more than the other ones. And then ideally I profit. <laughs> All right, our beloved wife. All right. Oh, I think this is the one where if your other characters get front attack, you pay one and put this into memory to give that character plus 2,500 power. Um, so <clears throat> it would definitely be interesting. It definitely goes with the memory mechanic of Gen 5. So, yeah. Really glad they gave, like, legacy support and stuff like that. Another of the Aki Rose at green. Orca Climax. Alright. Bolton. Ancho, Flare, Spadu, oh, ha, huh, an SR Climax combo. At least it's really shiny. Let me just, come on, come on, there we go. I will read this later. Bolton... Lamy, Doncho, and then I think this is the Polka combo. I can't remember. Um, or Climax. I mean, if we pull one, we could always check to make sure. Okay, let's go. Two, three. For a whoops, sorry about that. Oh my god, I really like this design. It's so blue, holy cow. Um, wow, it's only a rare, but holy cow. Damn, artists, you really went ham on that one, didn't you? Looks so good. Red, red, red. Oh, um, Fubuki Climax. Kind of hope I get a Toa Climax. I mean, I did play a, like, Gen 4 Toa combo. So, you know, gotta stay a little loyal. Um... Even if it might not be good, but whatever. Not that not that it isn't good. I'm saying it might not. Uh, so I'm only halfway through the box, but I really want to pause and read the combo for this. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I read it. So I think it's basically, well, on play, heal, and then on attack, um, choose one ability. Um, one of them is put all of your opponent's characters into memory and then place them back out onto the stage. On different positions and then the other one is um, pay one um, ditch one to burn two so that's pretty standard um, so yeah oh no oh no this is green green blue uh, actually let me double check no at the beginning of attack phase is when it happens so before you even attack. Interesting. Right. Oh, Caillou. Uh-oh. Alright. <laughs> oh. I think our third Lammy, technically. Um, I say third because um I pulled one as an entry pack. Polka, and yeah, it is the, that climax is a polka climax. Whoops. 
And Kion, our red is Mume. So, so I think that's four already. So that's good. Um, let's see. What did we pull that were SR? We got a triple R from the climax. And I think we don't have anything else afterwards. Not that I can remember. Red. Nah, nah. I'm definitely going to be playing that Nene in the um, Gen 5 deck since it can change into the level 3 climax combo. So I'm definitely going to be playing that. Alright. Green, green, red, blue, oh, Risu, I'll give you guys a quick look, Toa, Gozaru, green, blue, alright, What time? Uh, Caillou, Polka, Fubuki, Aski, another Luna, Pants. I think I should speed this up. Red, blue, blue, green. Blue, yellow, red, yellow. Okay, so after the next two packs, I would have opened four boxes. Maybe I'll just have, okay, there we go. So I think one more foil? Yeah, I think there should be one more, I think. If not, I'll go back and look over anyways as i was saying so after pulling the next pack um i would have pulled two boxes so far i might just stop there and have that as my first video red yellow no okay so that means I pulled another foil earlier. Uh, so let's actually <laughs> nothing in yellow um, for this. We got one red. That was the orca. Hey, okay. Pekula. Wow, aqua and then the soy say. So, four so far, so two in here then. Oh, yeah, yep, it all maps up. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to find time to pull the other 14 boxes. Uh, five, 13, wait, what? Whatever, I'll. Pull the rest later. Mm -hmm. Bye for now.